you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I have a special guest I have my oldest daughter Brielle she is coming with me in today's video for us to give our end of the year curricular review for Oak Meadow grade 6 and um, thank you for you excited yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> we really had so much fun this year with Oak Meadow grade 6 I was going to make this video all by myself but she was like I have to be in this video I have to share my thoughts and my perspectives because to really be honest, she did this curriculum uh, mainly on her own. I really came in on the back end to really facilitate her education, but Oak Metal really was a breath of fresh air this uh, year, and it was so much fun. I mean, you have fun, Brie? Mm -hmm, I have fun with Oak Metal. Yeah. <laughs> but before we get into Oak Metal, I'm just going to give you guys uh, some quick reflections of our overall year. Uh, first and foremost, I definitely will say, I feel like we had a good year. Yeah, we did. I feel like this year I was more consistent. I really feel bad. Like, I always talk to you guys about this, but uh brielle has always been my guinea pig like i really feel like i <laughs> i really feel like i put her through the ringer really like testing and trying out different uh resources and curriculas and i really feel like i mean i think that's probably just with the first baby in general uh we had some growing pains when we first started off our homeschooling journey but uh to be honest this was the first year we were just consistent across the board what we started what we ended with and mm -hmm. it, it felt really good like a good sense of accomplishment for us to like actually complete something and see it through and we definitely seen like a lot of fruit and growth from it um my one regret i definitely will have this year is i wish we did more field trips yeah me too yeah i mean we had some other circumstances that really stopped us from doing as many field trips as we wanted to but i really wish we uh did more field trips um i really uh wish that we would have took our time with the oak metal curricula and uh, yeah we're gonna get into that but i really wish we would have took our time and did some more of the rabbit trails and i would have felt more confident to like steer off the course when it came to oak meadow because uh this curriculum you really can like make it be your own and i feel like uh i guess i'm still learning how to make curriculum be my own and next year uh spoiler we are doing oak meadow grade seven and um I already told Brie, I was like, we definitely are going to uh, really make it be our own, go down those rabbit trails, extend the lessons if we want, omit lessons. If we you know, want to omit lessons or make them shorter, we're really going to uh, be more flexible in the curricula uh, next year. So uh, yeah. So Brie, so what are some things that you wish we did this year? I wish that we took our time with the lessons. So same thing, same thing. I wish yeah. we would have took our time with the lessons instead of trying to like just complete everything off a checklist. But mm -hmm. that's definitely something I'm still working on. I really feel like this year overall, uh, Brielle has had the most growth in math and writing. What do you think? Yeah, me too. Math and writing. And then this has been a really strong history year for us. Um, we really was able to dive deep in the history and we really, really enjoyed it. So um we're going to go ahead and start off since we started talking about math. We'll go ahead and start off with math. So here is the uh, math workbook. I'm going to have Brio this for me. And this is the math course book. Uh, Brielle did Oak Meadows Math 6 as a supplement. We didn't use this as like our main math. Uh, but I will say if you are using it as the main math inside of the course book, they do have um, a lot of mental math games that you can like uh, play. Like we can play together. It's like a lot of card games. It really reminds me a lot of math with confidence when it comes to like the card games with the math but because this wasn't her primary math curriculum she just used the workbook as supplemental practice and review so what did you think about the oak meadow math six uh i liked it it was, it was nice for supplement and like whenever i need practice on certain concepts Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it did give her the opportunity to practice on those concepts because her main curriculum is a mastery curriculum. She was able to use uh, Oak Meadows Math 6 as like that supplementary and it had a good spiral review. Uh, I love how clean the pages are in mm -hmm. Oak Meadows Math. It's like not distracting and it really reminds me of a simplified version of Saxon to really be honest, especially if you do it along with the course book. But overall, I really, really enjoyed their math curriculum. You? Yeah, me yeah. too. Okay. So now you guys, we're going to go ahead and go into the star of the show, which really for Oak Meadow has to be like their English and history component. So their English and history is combined and it's combined with a literature component. So we're going to go ahead and start off with English. So this is the English course book. And then here goes my English uh, parent guide right here. So this year in English, um, 
Brielle learned note taking and citations. She learned research reports. She learned how to do short stories, expository essays, comparative essays. Over, you remember that comparative essay? Uh. <laughs> so she wrote her first comparative essay this year through Oak Meadow. And you guys, it stretched her. But in the end, that essay was like, I think that was the best essay you wrote this year. Yeah. I, I think it really was. It was, it turned out to be like a five paragraph essay. I let my brother read her essay. My brother is actually a college professor. And when he came home for Christmas time, I let him read her essay. And he told me it was comparable to some of his like entry level college students papers, which was crazy. He, he just couldn't believe that she wrote that paper. And I definitely think Oak Meadow gave her the tools, especially like how they started her off like simple with a note taking. Then she learned how to cite sources and she learned what plagiarism was. And it really took her through the process of writing. And it was great. Um, her persuasive essays was good. It was a lot of one thing I liked was they did pack in the meat with the writing at the first semester but the second semester was when it became mm -hmm. fun because she had more like creative writing and then you got to write yeah. um what was you remember when we was in William Shakespeare you wrote a dialogue oh yeah I wrote a play oh yeah she wrote a play and uh it was a lot of more poetry in the second half and I kind of like that. I like that they, you know, hit it in hard. And the second half, especially when you're getting tired, it kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, mellowed down and she had more fun with it. And during the second half was really when we added in other forms of structured writing uh, in our homeschool year. But um, I really, really enjoyed the English, uh, the grammar, everything. It was really, really fun. I love their innovative take in the assignments because it was just a creative way, you know, think of this situation, think of this kid. It really uh, got you, got you, think, got you yeah, thinking? Yeah, it did get me thinking. Yeah, and I think she liked that because she definitely is my writer. And when they presented her different ways to write, I think she really enjoyed it, huh? Mm -hmm, I did enjoy it. Yeah, so if you have a writer, this definitely would be a great curriculum for someone who loves writing. Um, so, Brie, let's go ahead and we're going to share all of the literature that she read this year. Okay. So, here you go. All right. You ready? We're going to do one at a time. You can do the first right, one. So I read the ugly one. This is the Shakespeare Stealer. The Bronze Bow. The Adventures of Robin Hood. The Rainbow People. Maru of the Winter Caves. Once there was, twice there wasn't. Castle Diary. And then the last book we read was... The Golden Bull. The Golden Bull. We've replaced the what is it the golden bull no, no. not the golden bull <laughs> what is it we replace the bronze bow with the eagle of the ninth because within the teacher's manual they do have some replacement novels or substitute novels you can use we began this book and it was a meh for us and i was like you know what let's go ahead and do the replacement book and it was great it was still within that same time period that we was at in ancient times and I like that they did have the replacement book. So for each uh, novel, they have three other replacements that you can do, which was really, really fun. So um, we enjoyed all the novels. So Brie, what was your top three novels you want to share? My top three novels was The Ugly One, and I and I enjoyed The Bronze Bow. That was my favorite too. And The Shakespeare Stealer. <laughs> so those are your top three? Yeah, that's my top three. I'm surprised. Like, I first, I didn't know she was going to like the Shakespeare Stealer, but I really, really uh, was happy that she enjoyed it. Now, mm -hmm. all of these novels she read on her own, the only one we read together was The Bronze Bow, but she really, really enjoyed them. One thing I will say is that at the end of each novel, they had some type of creative aspect that the kiddos was doing with the novels. Whether it be like a art, a drawing, they could do comic strips, uh, they were writing reviews. Mm -hmm. It was really, really fun and creative things that they had. But one thing I will say that left me a little bit less desirable when it came to the novels within a sixth grade, that I really wanted that more discussion based with the novels. But I think I was jumping ahead a little bit too soon because in Oak Meadow 7, all of the novels that she's going to be reading is a novel study. So I feel like this year, the novels was more so like reading read aloud, fun assignments. It really just matched the time periods, but it wasn't like deep discussions, if I would say. But I think I was okay with it because of the creative aspect and it matching along with the history time period that she was in, which really married those subjects really, really well together. So yeah, what do yeah. you think? Mm -hmm, I agree. Yeah. So, all right, Brie, let's go ahead and show them the history. So 
Brie has the history on this side right here, but this is the history which was ancient civilizations. And in ancient civilizations, uh, she went over early human cultures, ancient cultures of Africa, Asia, and Middle East. We went over ancient Greece. We went over ancient systems of government, religion, and philosophy. When we got to the philosophy section, you guys, it was amazing because like I was really able to see like how Brielle thought, the philosophical thinking, mm -hmm. the laws, the questions that it posed in that section. Yeah, it was challenging. <laughs> so yeah, so um, I love that section. Uh, now going into the second semester, we went over like the Renaissance, early cultures of North America, and then we ended it off in like ancient civilizations, uh, the Mayans, Inca, and then we went into early navigations and the explorers It was where it ended off. So it really got us all the way through ancient times to um, the early Americas, which is kind of like where we're going to be starting off in the world history in seven. So uh, if you're going to be doing the Oak Meadow, it is really great to continue at least with the middle school years because the time periods with the history, they just like really flow together very, very well. My favorite part about this is that after every week, there was some type of rabbit trail or project that she could do. And um, what was that was your favorite part too? Yeah, and I also liked how um, how I was able to do an art project too. Yeah, so um, I'm yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and share all of her. We're gonna share her favorite art projects that she did with the ancient civilizations. But one thing like we were just talking about before, I really wish we would have went on more of the rabbit trails. Mm -hmm. I wish we would have did more of the recipes. Yes. We didn't do none of the recipes. They had like games and like mm -hmm. they had different activities where she could build like oh, yeah, dioramas. Yeah, so it was like other little things. She always tend to just pick like the art, which was fine because mm -hmm. she has a beautiful collage of art. Uh, I'm gonna share with you guys of all the things that she did different time periods and learning history through art was so much fun. So mm -hmm. especially if you have someone that's artistic, this will definitely help them cement the um, the concepts that are learning. Another thing that I really appreciate about Oak Meadow is that um, you guys, I didn't learn about this to the second semester. Please read the beginning of your, <laughs> your teacher's oh, manual oh because I uh, I found out that it was uh, video links to, I know, <laughs> it was video links to all of the lessons where she can click on and watch the video according to the time period. And I didn't figure it out till second semester, but it definitely added in value when she was able to watch like those little uh, video links that they had along with the Oak Meadows uh, history curriculum. Now the video links typically came from like YouTube where they would have like some type of historical clips she was just watching. There'll be little clips, but it did add value to like your reading, huh? Yeah, it did. Yeah, so that was my fault that I didn't read the manual and we didn't start it sooner, but it was fun. So, all right, Brie, go ahead and share your favorite art you did with the ancient um, civilizations. Okay, so for ancient China, I did the bamboo art. Oh, yeah, that one came out really good. <laughs> and for ancient Persia, I made this beautiful landscape. And I don't remember what this one was for. It's Hagia Sophia. You remember the church when we was in, we was going over like mosque. Yeah. And I made this Hagia Sophia church. Or mosque. mosque. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I made the Aztec, I made like an Aztec design collage kind of thing. Yeah, when she was in ancient civilization time, she yeah. did this. I think this one came out really, yeah, really, really good. Like one. This is one of my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. And she took her time on it. She used her paint markers mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And then the last one is the Babylonian Gardens. The Babylonian Hanging Gardens, mm -hmm. which was really, really fun for us to learn, especially when we was like in that ancient Egypt time mm -hmm. period. So like, again, you guys, I'm going to share all of her art that she did do. Uh, but that definitely was, uh, I guess, my favorite part, too, because at the mm -hmm. end of the week, after she learned the lesson, having like that creative art to really like yeah. see what she learned and kind of like to look back at it. And as like the wall was filling up with all her art, it just really, I don't know, it was like I was it so proud of her and it did make it fun. It really, really mm -hmm. did. Now, the last thing in Oak Meadow was the Oak Meadow's basic life science. And you guys, this is my regret. And I, I think I mentioned, I'm going to mention it several times, but I wish I would have stuck this out because I did enjoy this science when we did it. Mm -hmm. I think what it really was, was at the end of the day, I needed to plan this a little bit more. Yeah. 
and that's all it was and I think that that was my teacher's error but when we did do the first two units we really had a lot of fun I'm going to share with you guys like her science notebook so oh, yeah. it was really cool because as she was learning different things the science was just as creative as all of the mm -hmm. other subjects where they wanted her to actually draw like diagrams when she was learning things it was um very explorative and I really, really enjoyed the science and I really should have just took my time and planned it. We're definitely doing the Oak Meadow Science next year, um, but I just need something to be a little bit more independent, but that is my regret. I wish I would just stuck with the science through because when we did it, it was fun. Did you have fun too? Yeah, I had fun with it. And uh, one thing I did like too is that uh, because of how the science was, um, because of how it was written, it was like uh, we were able to, yes, we were outside a lot. <laughs> we were outside, uh, we was exploring, and uh -huh. it was a different take to science, and I definitely think it really was outside the box, and I really mm -hmm. had to get used to that outside of the box. Next, creative. And it was very creative. Um, we used a lot of our reference books, our DK books, when we were doing the life science, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, I definitely should have just put in the time to plan it more, and that's like probably one of my only quirks about this curricula is yeah. you do have to plan it. Um, it gives you the, your feast, and you have to figure out what part of your feast you want. You mm -hmm. can't do it all, and that's what I learned too. You really have to pick and choose what you want, and this curriculum is so rich. It's, I mean, no one or two people will do this curriculum exactly the same. So yeah. if your family was to do this, you would probably do a completely different set of assignments and uh, activities. Um, I like the autonomy too, because every week, wherever she was studying, she was able to choose if she wanted to write a paper that week or write a poem, or if she wanted to draw a diagram or um, write a paragraph. Mm -hmm. So it really gave her that option each week. So it really shook it up, huh? Yeah, it did. Yeah, so it wasn't like she was doing the same exact thing every single yeah. uh, week, which was really, really fun. Um, at the end, I liked how I was able to customize it and say, you know what, we're going to skip this part. We're only going to do this part. I really got more fluid at the end with the mm -hmm. planning. Uh, but really flexible. Yeah, I did get more flexible. But in the beginning, I think I was just nervous because mm -hmm. it was something new. But that's my only thing is you do have to plan it. But I feel like the planning, it, it was worthwhile. Yeah, it was. It was. So... Overall, like I said before, I really, really love this curriculum. I feel like it was very academically rigorous. I feel like it met the standards, my state standards, which was great. It really exceeded my state standards when it came to uh, grade six. This really met more of my grade seven standards uh, in the state of Georgia. I'm just going to be completely honest. So that's how academically rigorous this curricula is. So uh, just so you can kind of keep things in perspective for you, if you are looking into doing Oak Meadow, uh, just to let you know, they have a plethora of samples on their website I feel like they are more generous with their samples than any other curricula out there where you can really try this curricula out in its facility before you even uh, decide to purchase it so that's one thing I really enjoy about their website how many samples it gives and you can really really give it a good try mm -hmm. um, I like that I had the support from the teacher's guides I had the support from the additional resources online when I finally figured it out <laughs> <laughs> But um, I like the support that I had in the teacher's guides and it really just aided me in her education. I like the sense of an independence and autonomy she had. And, you know, I really had to, you know, stop being mama bear, stop hovering over her. And once I did that, she really was able to succeed a lot in this curricula, especially mm -hmm. for the middle school years. So I'm going to ask Brie a few questions and then we're going to end the video. So Brie, what was your favorite thing you learned this year in Oak Meadow? Uh, like, what, what do you mean, like, my favorite thing? Uh, it could be, like, your favorite subject or your favorite thing. So what was your favorite, all like, in the Oak Meadow grade 6? Oh, that's a hard question. I really enjoyed learning in the history and, like, doing all the art projects and all the assignments and how it challenged my thinking and made me, like, be more creative, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I really believe that. I do feel like this did. She it, was it put me at my comfort zone. It did take her out of her comfort zone. I definitely <laughs> will agree with that. So, um, my next question is: Is what are some of your regrets or things you wish we did in Oak Meadow? Uh, I just wish that we we was able to do more of the science, and I wish that we was able to go explore and and do more of the recipes and all the extra like um I forgot what you call it. Like the extra stuff. The rabbit I, trails. Yeah, the rabbit trails. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That's definitely true. So if you can change anything about this curriculum, what would you change? Oh, that's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? I don't think I would really want to change really anything about it. It's really good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's anything there's nothing that I don't like about it okay well if it's anything that I could change as 
for the curriculum i just wish that it had a like um maybe like a schedule or a planner in the beginning uh for like different examples of how to plan the curriculum in the teacher's guide that's all i would want uh but once i got the hang of it i was fine but that will be like a good little mm -hmm. added bonus for me you have like different like schedules yeah so it can kind of show you like okay you could do it this way or you could do it that way it would have been nice to have like those few little examples yeah, for support. me to like support uh -huh. me as a teacher planning it so what are you most excited to learn about in Oak Meadow 7? I'm excited to um, do the science because I think that we're going to be able to focus more on that next year. Yeah. And I'm also excited to for the new literature because I really enjoyed the books in Oak Meadow 6. And I'm excited to see like what Oak Meadow 7 has. I think that's... And I'm really excited for the art. <laughs> I think I'm excited about the literature, too. I'm excited that it changes into novel studies in Oak Meadow 7. Uh, she's going to be doing, like, a, a reading journal, a narrative journal, and I'm really excited about that. So, um, you guys, this is our review for Oak Meadow Grade 6. I really hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy me having my oldest on. She's not in too many of my videos, but I'm really happy she decided to come on today and talk about Oak Meadow for you guys. But... As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye. Bye.